So our next tool and technique is rolling wave planning. And this helps you to decompose only the activities that you need to plan for because they're coming up soon. So you can imagine this would be used a lot in an adaptive um, type of, of environment. It leaves everything else uh, planned at the milestone level until it gets closer to the time when you'll do it, and then that's when you get into the more granular detail. It is an iterative planning technique and a form of progressive elaboration. So work can exist at various levels of detail depending on where it is in the project lifecycle. Um, rolling wave planning lets you pay as you go or pay G. Um, so, or plan as you go, I should say. So um, an example would be if you complete the known tasks to complete the invitations and then leave the menu planning and the seating until later when you know who's going to RSVP. Right, So you know that invitations are coming up soonest, you need to be able to complete those tasks and then leave the rest of you know maybe menu planning, seating chart up in the air until closer to the time that you need it because those things can wait. Uh, should only be used in cases when there's no other way to plan, you know, so it's not, you know, it's not always going to work for every project, so you just want to make sure you're, you're, you know, using it wisely. And if we think back to the definition of a project uh, that we learned in Chapter 2, projects are progressively elaborating, so elaborated, so rolling wave planning is going to take advantage of that fact um, that you know more about the project as you go to make plans more accurate. Um, so rolling wave planning is all about committing to uh, planning out one portion of the work that you'll do, executing it, and then moving on to the next. Software projects use those agile methodologies as a form of rolling wave planning to ensure that everything that they uh, sign on to do gets done. So, you know, user stories for an ex a software release, they build and deliver, and then they gather more requirements based on the uh, user ideas after working with the release version. That's <laughs>